हे गाइज दिस इज सुभाषिष मिश्रा जो टेस्ट कोच टुडे वी लर्न अबाउट ऑर्थोगनल आर ए टेस्टिंग सो फर्स्ट थिंग वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज ऑर्थोगनल आर ए टेस्टिंग सो ऑर्थोगनल आर ए टेस्टिंग इज ए ब्लैक बॉक्स टेस्टिंग मेथड वेयर द टेस्ट डेटा इज लार्ज एंड कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए नंबर ऑफ पॉमोटेशन एंड कम्बिनेशन सो इट इज स्टैटिस्टिकली टेस्टिंग अप्रोच स्पेशली यूजफुल when systems to be tested has huge data inputs okay so orthogonal array testing helps to maximize test coverage by pairing and combining the inputs and testing the system with comparatively less number of test cases for time saving for example you are testing a web application where you need to fill a form and you need to provide personal information for example name age gender qualification mother tongue and all right so here if you want to test right if you want to test this kind of form with different setup of data because what you are seeing here in a age field we have different different data like less than 8 more than 8 or more than 60 three different data for age then similarly for gender male female transgender similarly for qualification field we have high school graduation post graduation what can be the qualification of a person right similarly mother tongue so here if when you are testing that particular form you have to keep in mind all this kind of data so here if you want to test with different combination of data the number of test cases will be huge for example you want to test when age is less than 18 you should able to select gender options or you should able to select all qualifications or all different mother tongues so if you will start writing test cases individually like this then the number of test cases will increase which will be like too much right so here test data are huge and we need to test with different permutation and combinations in this case if we go for conventional testing technique we need lot of test cases but if you will go for orthogonal array testing we can optimize the test cases number and quality of the test cases with maximum test coverage and minimum effort so let's see how can we do it right so here you can see the formula right how to calculate the orthogonal array right how to get this right what is this ailerons what is the labels and what is the factors so here you can see ron means number of rows in the array which translates into a number of test cases that will be generated and factor means number of columns in the array which translates into a maximum number of variables that can be handled and labels means maximum number of values that can be taken on any single factor so let me explain it to you in a particular whatever example here we have taken right with that i will explain it so what are the steps we need to follow to do orthogonal array testing in this case right we have a form where we have different different uh, fields like age field gender field qualification and mother tongue and we have different different setup of data for age we have three different setup of data gender we have three different setup of data qualification also three different setup of data mother also three different setup of data so what we will do here first we need to determine the number of independent variables so here we have four different variables like we have four factors different variables or we have four different factors we can say that age gender qualification and mother tongue all these are factors so here we have four different factors then we can determine the maximum number of values for each variable so here we have three values for each variable for age we have three for gender we have three for qualification also we have three and mother tongue we have three then we need to determine 
the orthogonal array with four factors and three labels so here we understand we have four factors age gender qualification and mother tongue and three labels each each having three labels right so we need to determine now the orthogonal array with four factors and three labels so here you can see right we have four factors and three labels so 3 to the power 4 and l runs l run is equal to the number of test cases so runs will be the test cases so how you will come to a conclusion here how many runs it will be right so you can go to this website here you can see some they have given some sample example how to find it right so when you have a uh, the factor and uh, label right uh, for 3 to the power 4 right here you can see how we can set up of data 0 0 0 0 0 1 2 1 0 2 1 2 so all these are combinations right different different combinations so how many rows it is coming it is coming nine different rows right when you will have three uh, labels and four factors in that time you will get nine runs means nine test cases right so here what we will get l9 and 3 to the power 4 so l9 9 is the runs run is nothing but your test cases and label is nothing but your 3 is the label for each field what is the label and then what is the factor so we have four different factors so now we understand what is this l runs and what is label and what is factor let's move to the next one right so this is our data whatever uh, whatever we wanted to find right orthogonal array so this is our orthogonal array because here we are telling we have different different factors factor 1 factor 2 factor 3 factor 4 we understand the different different factors so our different factors are age gender qualification and mother tongue so here we are just giving factor 1 factor 2 factor 3 factor 4 in our next slide we will see we will rename it and here we are seeing the different different test cases that's why we are telling run 1 run 2 run 3 run 4 run 5 6 7 8 9 so you understand also how we reach this 9 test cases or 9 runs so again in this 9 runs we are giving this values right 0 0 0 0, 0 then 0 1 2 1 0 2 1 2 1 0 2 2 1 1 1 0 one two zero one two zero one one two one zero two 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 zero so if we'll go here final orthogonal array will look like this so here we can see what we have done we have uh, mapped the different factors and labels okay so whatever we have seen here right the factor one factor two and factor three factor four we have mapped with age gender highest qualification and mother tongue and uh, the other uh, things right 0 1 2 we have replaced with the each sub option like here you can see less than 18 is 0 more than 18 is 1 and 2 is more than 60 similarly for uh, male female and transgender 0 1 2 and high school post graduation and graduation is the 0 1 2 right so here you will see right all the in this nine test cases we have covered all the different different of test data so we have given the proper permutation and combination so our test coverage will be very good we can cover all the uh, fields with less number of test cases so that is the main advantage of orthogonal array testing right so let's see what are the advantage of orthogonal array testing so this technique is beneficial when we have to test with a huge number of data having many permutation and combination and the advantage are less number of test conditions which requires less implementation time less execution time then easy analysis of test condition due to less number of test conditions high coverage of course increased overall productivity and ensures that quality test is performed and what are the limitations we know none of the testing technique provides a guarantee of 100 percent test coverage each technique has its way of selecting the test condition similarly there are some limitations when you are using this orthogonal array testing technique 
so testing will fail if we fail to identify the good pairs if you are not able to identify it properly your test will fail you will not able to maybe identify the proper bugs probability of not identifying the most important combination which can result in losing a defect so the main thing is you have to identify the proper combination if you will not able to identify the proper combination maybe you will lose a defect right this technique will fail if we don't know the interaction between the pairs so we should have a good understanding about the functionality so we can pair up the things properly pair up the test data properly applying only this technique will not ensure complete coverage you need to perform all other remaining type of testing okay it can find only those defects which arise due to pairs as input parameters so whatever combinations we are giving we will find defect on that right so we will not we may miss something also here so that's that's the some of the limitations of orthogonal array testing okay so that's all about orthogonal array testing thank you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i'll try to explain it please like share and subscribe to my channel